Okay, this doesn't always work, so here we are, Microsoft Flight Simulator. We're on the mighty 1080 Ti GPU, uh, Valley, Wales. Got to work out what's going on. We've got a big crosswind coming in from the right. Uh, we're on. Um, real time, real weather, real sandwiches so we're just getting some air speed up, wobbly down here I'm on a upward course ok let's sit in and relax a minute just while we woo. I'm going to turn into the wind before I get to the end of this runway because I'm in fact no, I'm going to yeah, I'm going to turn into the wind as we get to the end of the runway because as you can see that's kind of a straight track and we're getting blown quite sideways so I'm using oculus mirror um, just to uh, show you what's going on and recording on the PC that we're playing the game on so there's a million things that could possibly go wrong. I'm going to go uh, fly into the wind now. I'm getting buffeted a bit. James May expression there. I've got to include some car uh, references because this is an Automobilista 2. So 90% of the people who watch my stuff will not have even clicked on this. For those few that do, there you go, I'll make you feel at home and we'll mention cars. Don't know how well this is um, coming across in the video, because obviously I'm in VR at the moment. But in VR at the moment, everything is smooth as you like, clear as you like. Um, and I'm getting the sensation of uh, getting waffled around, waffled around. Uh, not wobbled, waffled, it's a technical term, uh, by the wind. Holly heads over there. It's the main road. In fact, we'll follow the main road back because we're in the sun now. So we'll follow the main road back towards Bangor and the, uh, the Mumbles for those not um, <laughs> from Anglesey, North Wales. Uh, the Mumbles is the strip of water that runs between the mainland and Anglesey itself, which is an island. So out there you can see the North Sea. Um, it's about, I don't know what time it is, yeah, about half past six, seven o'clock, something like that. There's the, uh, the airport. If it looks like it's shaking around a bit, it's because the plane's shaking around a bit, because it's quite a strong wind out today. As we look off into the distance, we can see um, the Snowdonia National Park and the mountains associated with it. That big one there that's disappearing into the clouds, just to the right of my nose, is Snowdon itself. There we go, getting a tourist information flight going to drop the revs a little bit now. Uh, our altitude is 1,450 feet. Um, all the dials are clear for me to read. Um, yeah, not a problem seeing anything. I can use hand controls and they do work quite well. Um, but I thought I'd just grab hold of the, uh, the flight stick and make things a little bit easier for myself talking of which are my flaps up it looks like they are yeah so I have no idea what I've assigned on the t on the uh, on the stick for the flaps might as well have a look now that's what I've assigned there we go so it's uh, dark and grim because it be the north off to the right and it's quite sunny and then dark and grim um, so that way would be Ingerland um, 
Golf Sierra leaving my airspace frequency change approved. Okay, bye bye. Um, that way, being the way I'm looking, will be Liverpool, uh, followed by 30 miles later Manchester in that direction. Um, and in that direction would be Preston, the Lake District, Lancaster, and then the Isle of Man. Yeah, something like that. Without a map. Okay, for all the uh, petrol heads out there, off to the right. Robin X Ray Golf Sierra, acknowledge last transmission. Robin would be uh, me, but that's Jim. Jim part times as a. Uh, A, uh, a traffic controller. So off to the right down there, I think, or there on Anglesey, would be the racetrack. Um, seen on such delightful programmes, this fifth gear. Not sponsored. Keeping those car things going. Um, so we're getting into. Uh, Robin, what are we getting me? into here? We're getting into uh, two and a half thousand feet. So we're just going to. Drop the throttle back to 50%, and that looks a bit wet over to my left. And it's still quite blowy up here. We're still getting, well, you can see the wing tip in relationship to the ground getting blown around a bit. Um, but yeah, even, I mean, I'm running a 1080 Ti and an i7 11 series, 16 gig of RAM. Jim, Jim, shh, shh, now Jim, um, and uh, 16 gig of RAM, and um, a Rift S, and you could too can play Microsoft Flight Sim in fairly high graphical fidelity in uh, VR without any problems, amazing really. Hang on a second, just let me check my screen. Robin X Ray Golf Sierra ATC service. Yeah, yeah, Jim. Jim, Jim. Good day. Jim, shush. So, yeah, stretching out, you see uh, over from the left um, and coming through, that big river is uh, actually the Irish Sea and what they call the Mumbles. For any Wren fans, Wren fans out there, we're. Uh, Roughly near his, uh, his, 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 his his Welsh habitation, um, uh, just up there on the right. And um, I'm looking for gaps in the cloud, really. I think we should go straight up there, up through. Oh, yeah, let's go straight up. Um, through that valley straight in front I've got no hands so I can't point it's not like VTOL um, and that will take us uh, I think that's Bala Lake Bala and then takes us up to Penny Pass Capel Keurig and then if we hang a right we can um, drop down to Betsy Codes and Swallow Falls and we'll call it a day there Anybody who's visited North Wales, I'm sure you've uh, hit Snowdonia. Uh, what we're currently on, we're at uh, 2,300 feet. Uh, the light is not with us, but such is flying in real weather. Can't, um, well, I could do if I used OBS, I'm just using um, NVIDIA's recorder that's why you've got a white flashing line on the right side and a curved image on the left you are looking through my left eye um, so you're getting quite a narrow field of view I've got a big panoramic field of view in here uh, so panoramic it's 360 degrees you know, I can look around here and look at the shiny lever and the belt buckles and go down here and look at the clocks and little little labels apparently this plane's French yes it is French okay and it is red so we're just coming up on the mumbles now uh, we've got 
a couple of bridges that we can't see because they're kind of below us. And there is a race, if you're into your sailing, there is a race that goes all the way around of Ang Anglesey. And of course, the trick is um, getting the tidal flow right to get through this bit. Because obviously the island is not a problem. Um, but it's getting through the mumbles. Can get a bit tricky. As, uh, I'm getting a bit buffeted here. I'm getting quite buffeted here. Let me see uh, any... Not visible, there is one there somewhere. I think I'm a bit uh, at an odd position to see it. Okay, so we're just going to uh, continue on our merry way. Uh, we'll slowly rise in. We've got, yeah, what are we at? 2,100 feet. We're going up again. Just hitting quite a bit of rough air. Just coming out at us, if I'm right off those hills up there but we'll see how it goes when we get down in between the mountains um, you'll see some of a Welch this is this is just literally turning into welcome to Wales let's take you a trip in a plane so as we go down here we'll see um, you can see the lake down there on the left hand side uh, you can see it looks quite dark and black um, and on the right hand side that would be all the um, slate, slate quarries it should have been the biggest kind of industry around here would have been the slate mining and slate quarries so you pass over uh, various little towns If Vic's around, give us a wave. Probably doesn't live around here. Probably leaps deep dark into uh, into that bit over there. We, we never go over there. Never go over there. They still paint and paint everything in the village the same violent colour. If you are a resident over there, you know exactly what I mean. And you're all thieves and vagabonds. <laughs> With no shame. There we go. Over the lake we go. Keep on the. I am kind of pushing against this wind. I'm just waiting for us to get in the uh, the lee of this big hillside here. But we'll start to see some of the slate quarries down there. We really are getting buffeted around. I'm thinking we lose a bit of altitude until we get into the hills and then we'll start rising up again to get over Penya Pass. Just push the nose down a bit because it is getting a bit a bit blowy in here. At least we've got some sun over there. Okay, so yeah, you can get a view there of a wobbly mountainside. It, it's not the game, it's literally the wind. I'm trying to get down and out of it. Um, so yeah, there, there's a big slate quarry. I think that one's still active, actually. If you're in the north of England, pretty much uh, your roof came from here, okay? some of the old ones if you were a tourist carrying on with the tourist whale scene uh, that you can come along and go down uh, further up on the right and over in the next valley so we are kind of out of the wind now so we're going to follow the road up to Peña Pass and the mountaineering centre and the youth hostel oh yeah and we'll hang a left and go up to Capel Keurig and then hang a right and down to Betsy Coed past the Swallow Falls. I'm getting quite I'm getting quite queasy here with all this rocking about we're doing. For scale there's my shadow on the side of that mountain. 
Right, I'm going to have to give it the guns because the uh, the ground is coming up to meet us quite violently at this uh, this rate. Apparently, there's a shed there. I don't think there is a shed there, but there you go. Small brown shed halfway up the mountain. There is a river and a road. You can just see off my nose that uh, I have frequented many times on bicycles and motorbikes and cars. There you go. Of more recent times, motorbikes usually. I can actually get here for an evening's ride, just about. But never ever try and overtake a local fish van from Bangor, because he will absolutely annihilate you, even if you're on a 1300cc Yamaha. Never race the uh, the local fishmonger around here. Okay, so as we go over that building there on the left is the youth hostel. The one on the on the right hand side of the road is the mountain centre with the car park. Okay, so that's Penya Pass, the highest pass in Wales, in England, I think, or in the UK. Not sure Scotland though. Uh, okay, so we hang a left here. Let's see the road going off to the left. In fact, yeah, we'll hang a left here. We'll back our throttle off because I don't want to get too high above these ridges. We'll keep pretty low. And uh, next stop would be Capel Keurig and the post office, the little cafe, and the little mount, and anything else. At the end of the video, there will be free coupons for the <laughs> for the mountaineering centre. 10% off your next hiking boots. There you go. can be a bit brutal up here with the weather as you can see at the moment I am getting if you, if you look at the uh, oh since up oh, there you go I'm not doing that that's mr. wind doing that in fact what we'll do is we'll not go to Petsy Coward we will hang a left and we'll uh, we'll head back down to the coast quickly we'll get the throttles all the way in Normally I would do the mixture and everything else, but I've, because uh, I'm using this, I can't actually go and turn any dials. That's again very complicated. So I'll just uh, get our speed up there. So at the end here, you can see a few houses dotted around various things. Um, and a T-junction, the road goes left and right. If you go right, I'll drop you back down, following Swallow Falls, uh, into Betsy Coward. But we're not going that way, we're going to go left here past the dams and things. Which is one of the runs by the RAF, believe it or not. I remember going up, that, see the three peaks there, going up that middle peak. And watching the... Uh, the old RAF flying underneath me. It's not the Mac loop, this, I don't think it is anyway. But they do come up this valley. In fact, if we scoot over to it, well, you can see over there, there's the main road on the right with the river. Or is this the main road? No, one's a dirt track, one's the main road. I think the one on the right is the main road. Yeah, this is a dirt track. So we'll just get back on the main road and then just drop down. Oh, we may end it earlier if the sun absolutely blinds us when we uh, get into the valley dropping down which it might just do don't know what my frame rate is um, it's definitely not 80 but it's not tiring on the eyes and more importantly there's no stuttering or artifacts going on it's all quite smooth apart from this plane juggling us around should have gone in a bigger plane really but yeah that was there is a path up there stupidly tried to get over it on a bicycle ended up carrying a bicycle for about half the distance I 
and then a certain friend of mine on the way down decided to put his bicycle through the gate and himself and ended up in hospital but that's another story and another tale for another time that time would have been 35 36 years ago about when I could pedal up here nowadays I have an engine on my pedal bike okay so we're just going over one of the dams at the moment we're going to scoot off to the right I think I'm going to leave it there actually yeah you can see the sea down at the bottom not much more to uh, to say really come visit Wales it's wonderful now you know where to go coupons will be in the description below thank you very much adios